What's up, everyone? This is Joe Sorrentino, and welcome to part two of my Jet Jam Pro Boat video series here on New England RC. So, in the last video, we did an unboxing. Today's video is going to be a comparison of this $100 boat versus the Hanzunjin HJ808 $50 boat. So, we're going to look at these side by side. We're going to see what's different, what makes this better than that one, or what makes this one better than that one. We're going to look at all the differences in detail. And uh, we're going to do that right now. Let's go! So here are my four boats side by side. These two are the Hangzhouji HJ808s. This is my Pro Boat and this is my Yeti Vector 30. So what's different right off the bat? I will admit I do like the sleekness of the uh, Hangzhouji HJ808s better. Definitely a, a sleeker looking boat. You know, I like the size comparison. It's about the same size here, but the Pro Boat's much thicker. You can see from these, there's a little more narrow, a little more streamlined. Vector 30 being the little runt of the pack here. Um, still looks really sleek as well. This definitely has got more like a, a spaceship look to it, a little weird looking kind of thing in comparison. But again, this is more for a safety boat that's going to retrieve items and pools and does have a more powerful motor too. So, you know, there's, there's a few things going for it. I do love the stickers that I just put on. I love the fire there. I love how, uh, how that looks. I think it's going to really jazz that up. Just also a few things I wanted to point out. We'll just take for these two, for example. Um, I like the stand better on the uh, cheaper boat, unfortunately. This one here, <laughs> it's really tiny. It's kind of like this one here, the Vector 30 had this little tiny one. But I mean, that's a really small boat, so it kind of makes sense on that. But this guy is the biggest out of all the boats and it's got this tiny little stand, you know, it would have been better, you know, something like that might've been better for this, but. Hey, you can't have everything, you know? But uh, also, just wanted to point out the motor. Uh, you see this got a fan on the old cheapo ones there. And uh, this here has a different mechanism altogether, the jet motor. It shoots out the water like that. This doesn't do anything like that. It's, it's strictly with the fan. And then you have your, your gears here uh, that are moved left and right. So everything works a little differently here, but it's supposed to be better. And I'm looking forward to seeing how much so? The other thing I want to mention, uh, once again, I've done this in one of my other videos. Now see, this is what I like about the cheaper $50 boat here is this double layer of protection, this double seal here, which is really nice. It protects it really well having the two layers. It does have that uh, rubberized seal too, but it's smaller than the bottom there. This one here, just to compare, you know, uh, it's got a bigger rubber seal, which I really do like about that. And you can see the comparison here. The rubber seal is much smaller on this one here. And this one has a much thicker, much thicker rubber seal. So I think that's going to help protect the boat, uh, insides of the boat. Uh, but I will give them props here for this added layer of protection. That is a really key feature that these cheaper boats had offered. And this one only has the one. So... We'll see how it holds up long term, but um, that is the my first things that I, I noticed off the bat that I thought I should point out. And also, I just wanted to do a quick uh, remote control pet comparison as well. Uh, this here is the uh, Anzunjin 808 HJ 808. This is my new Pro Boat remote. Very similar, but you can see right off the bat this is a bigger remote, a little smaller little sleeker. The controls are much different. The HJ808 has the two trims there, the throttle trim and the steering trim. And this one only has the one steering trim, which is very strange. So throttle control is not on there. So I don't know, does that mean there's no throttle control? I don't know yet. I have to read about it, but we'll find out. But other than that, there you know, just, just quick little comparisons I wanted to show you folks. All right, and we'll just take these batteries now while I'm Thinking of it and get this fired up. Okay. Interesting. It's very silent, but there's the light. I know it's on. No sound. I, didn't, I was expecting a beep or something, but it's on. All right. And before we go, I just want to actually attach this other piece. I got to admit, folks, this is kind of ridiculous looking to me. It looks like a giant mustache. <laughs> It almost doesn't feel right putting it on there, but uh, it did come with it. It is part of it, and I do want to demonstrate all the features, so we will give this a try as well. Um, but uh, I don't know if I want to keep it on there at all times, but we'll see. All right, let's see if we can figure out how this goes on here. Okay, looks like it's 
screw and a, and a washer, pretty simple. There you go. That is a goofy looking thing, guys. I don't know, man. I, I'm not a super fan of, of that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What a weird looking thing. It's like a big giant smile. Ha <laughs> ha, hee hee, smile. That's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video of my comparison of my Jet Jam Pro Boat versus the Hanzunjin HJ808. And on the next video, we're gonna get to see this boat in action. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. And until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.